I'm speaking to Paul Najarian, liaison reporter from ITU's Ready Communication Sector Study Group 5 to the co collaboration on ITS communication standards. Paul Najarian, welcome to ITU TV. Thank you for having me. First of all, let me ask you, what do we mean by intelligent transport systems or ITS? Intelligent transport systems may be defined as the convergence of information and communications technologies in everyday transportation use. Where, whether such use is in the roadway vehicle, public transportation, freight movement, electronic toll collection, parking management, uh, car navigation systems, telematics information, and so on. So the, uh, as the information communications technologies are improving, they are becoming more and more integrated into the transportation network. As you may know, I2 has launched a campaign along with the International Automobile Federation on enhancing road safety. Right. Um, how can we make our roads safer? How can we concretely do this? Well, there are, there are technologies available currently in whether embedded in the vehicle or in the roadway that could improve uh, the, safe way, the safety of the roadway infrastructure and reduce the fatalities. And, what, and the numbers we're talking about are astronomical. The uh, UN collaboration on road safety has shown that there are about 1.3 million deaths per year along the roadways worldwide. Uh, in addition, there's about 50 million uh, injuries. And this is amounting to economic losses in excess of $500 billion uh, uh, worldwide. So the goal is to uh, have at least a reduction in those numbers, which can be achieved by the integration of ICTs in vehicles, such as radar, uh, of, uh, radar systems. But how can ICTs actually enhance road safety? For example, there are many uh, information and communications technologies that could be embedded in the roadway infrastructure, such as uh, weather monitoring systems or uh, uh, systems that monitor icing along the road, or, or they could monitor whether a car is about to depart from the roadway system and so on, and, with, and which in turn they would alert either the driver or they would inf alert a traffic management center about these roadway conditions, such as icing on the road, or uh, falling rocks, etc. So, so there are inf uh, ICT in, uh, information that could be embedded either in the roadway or in a vehicle. So, do you think uh, these technologies can also improve efficiencies in road transport and traffic management? Well, the, uh, integrated traffic management systems, uh, such as Japan's vehicle information and communication systems, have, have already been doing so since 1996. And there are these traffic management systems that control the uh, uh, signaling along the roadway in order to be able to put more capacity mm -hmm. on the existing roadway infrastructure. So the, 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 the goal is to, to maximize the capacity that the road could handle in an efficient manner. And do you foresee any smart devices coming up in the near, f near future? Uh, things like uh, radar collision, anti-collision devices, or other such systems? Yes. Uh, in the, uh, uh, as part of this uh, effort with the uh, UN uh, uh, co uh, Road Collaboration, the ITU Council passed a resolution in 2010. Uh, the, the Council resolution was about uh, ICTs and improving road safety. As a result of this ITU Council resolution, a, a World Radio Communication Conference was added at, during WRC 2012 on, having, on harmonizing spectrum for uh, collision avoidance radar in the 79 gigahertz, which is, this is known as Agenda Item 1.18 on the World Radio Communications Conference for 2015. So if we were, to, if we we're able to harmonize at least spectrum globally for all car manufacturers and vehicle manufacturers and roadway infrastructure in this band, we would be able to uh, vacate some of the uh, other uh, technologies that are available in other spectrum and harmonize them at 79 gigahertz 
uh, in order to have economies of scale for the car manufacturers and the automobile industry. So do you foresee then that these technologies will become more ubiquitous, will be used more widely? Well, c uh, yes. At this, what what we d uh, with with this harmonization and these economies of scale, we actually foresee this technology becoming more available in uh, in not just at the high end uh, level of classes, but also at the lower end level of uh, uh, vehicles as well as motorcycles as well, because we are talking about not just. Uh, collision avoidance of the driver and the passengers of the vehicle, but we're also talking about uh, uh, collision avoidance with pedestrians. So we're, we're this this is a technology for intersection collision avoidance, especially with pedestrians. So what do you think would be the next steps then, looking into the future, looking at uh, road safety as a as a holistic uh, area of management, and in ITS and intelligent transport systems. Well, what we see, first of all, is, is uh, an integration of an ITS, a telecommunications uh, architecture as part of the, the deployment of intelligent transportation systems worldwide. So once that telecommunications policy is agreed upon, then we could start harmonize uh, different types of application in specific services. For example, we could harmonize the uh, collision avoidance radar in the radio location service. We could harmonize uh, uh, applications such as dedicated short-range communications in the land mobile service in the 5.8 or 5.9 gigahertz. So that's, that is what is foreseen in the future is to, uh, rather than having a mosaic type of an approach in terms of the ITS deployment worldwide in order to have the smaller pockets where the ITS spectrum requirements could be defined. So you think you'll have a safer world on, r on the roads in the near future? Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's, uh, even with some of the technologies that, we, uh, that are available now, uh, the workshop, in, in today's workshop with the UN ECE has already demonstrated some improvements over the last, uh, in this past uh, decade. And we hope to have a much, much better numbers by uh, two 2020. Paul Najarian, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,